Hello everybody, Ryan the Almighty here, um, and this is episode 2 of my Let's Play of Solitary Craft. Uh, it's kind of, I suppose, not really episode 2, it's kind of like episode 1 done again. Uh, basically, I did episode 1 on the Solitary Craft server done by Hey Yorky, um, but unfortunately, due to different time constraints, it's hard for me to get on, and due to also me being on the other side of the world, there's generally quite a bit of lag for me, so I decided to, to basically start again and do a, a single player let's play of Solitary Craft, because it is so much fun. So basically, <coughs> I'm in the single player and I'm making a new let's play with cheats and a bonus chest on. Now I don't plan on using cheats, but uh, it's good for getting out of spots if you need it. Um, all sorts of different things can happen, so you never know. So let's go into the world. I'm using the Faithful Texture Pack as always. And let's head in. Uh, I'm going to keep this as episode 2 just to keep it concurrent with episode 1. Oh, there we go. Lovely. As you can see, lots of Pam's Mod stuff. The sounds haven't actually loaded in just yet. So what I might do is let the world load, let the sounds load, and then come back. Alright. Alright, I'm back. Everything's loaded in now. Yep, cool. Alright, so let's get see what's in this bonus chest. Whole bunch of wood. Six apples, which is always good. Uh, enough to make I'm gonna take that chest as well. Uh, I'll make a crafting table first, actually. Plonk that down. Actually, if I'm not mistaken, oh, you can see a butterfly there. It's from the Butterflies mod, or whatever it's called. I make a pocket crafting table. Just like that, and then if I press C, there we go. No need to make an actual crafting table. One of the great mods that are in this pack. Something so simple, yet perfect at the same time. So I'm going to make an axe. Those should be the only two tools that I need. I'm going to take away this chest and these torches. There we go. And with tree tap capitator installed, these should come down with one swing. There we go. So I'm going to take away a few of these trees just to get a good supply of wood going. Get a whole bunch of saplings. That's one thing which I do like about tree capitator is it actually drops all the saplings and the apples which would normally drop from a tree. Rather than other mods which just takes the wood out and basically the tree leaves still float there. <coughs> Alright, grab this one. Although I don't really like this colour wood for a house. What is this colour wood? Yeah, dark brown. Ah, oh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. And dig up some of this grass. I'll turn my volume down just a little bit. There we go. Oop, what did we get out of that? Sweet potato. Uh, sweet potato is from Pam's Mod. That's where all these extra shrubs and that come from. Pam's Mods adds a whole bunch of new stuff to the game. Including things like this, which is raspberries and all of these pretty decorative flowers which I pretty much ignore because I don't need them. They have no benefit to me whatsoever so why should I dig them up? Alright, I don't want to really live in a snow biome or a desert. Um, so, oh there's a, a village or some sort of thing over there, could be from the ruins mod. I need food. So that will do. There we go. I'm gonna head off this way, see what that little building was. Oh, sheep. That'll make a bed. Oh, this is gonna kill my pickaxe. 
let's make a sword then. That bugger, I don't have the planks for it. But now I do. Didn't really want to waste on making a wooden sword, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Where'd that sheep go? There it is. There we go. That's three pieces of wool. Whoop. That will be enough to make my bed. Let me adjust that. There we go. Alright, let's see what this is. I'm assuming it's from the Ruins mod. Oh, is it one of those trees? Nice. A whole bunch of wood there. And this is a tree from the Ruins mod, which I'm assuming is some sort of trap. Yes, I can hear lava. Oh, this is so nice. I heard lava, so you, it's some sort of trap involving lava. Hmm. I swear I heard lava. I might head down. Whoop, whoop. I think I might be under the floor. So what I might do is head in here. Now I think tree capitator will take this tree down. So I'm gonna press shift. Whoop, there it is. Now, what did I hear down here? What is down here? It's got to be something. Ah, some gold ore there, hidden by lava, of course. So what I'm going to do is grab my pick. Head down. Not that I can actually grab that gold at the moment, so there's really no point in me going down. But it will be good to note that. Uh, gold. Uh, ruin. Alright, now the other ruin was... Well, the other building. Well, if I keep going this way, I'll make it there. I'll grab that. Blue breeze. And there's a creeper there. I do not want to... Oop, and some dogs. It's going to get dark soon and I'm not really anywhere at the moment. Although this looks interesting. I'm guessing it's from the Ruins mod as well. Oh yeah, you can hear the mobs in there. Yeah, I'm going to walk away from that. I'm gonna eat some apples. There we go. Now let's cut this cows. Great, I think that's cotton. Yep, that's cotton. God, he drops tons of meat. Just gonna head off this way and across the river there looks like a regular biome that's not crap. So I might set up there. I'll grab that mushroom as well. Oh, and there's a rubber tree. That'll also be handy to stick around. So I'm going to grab this tree, I reckon. Although I don't think my axe will cut it. Yeah, only half cut it down. I'm going to grab all of that. Open up my crafting table. And make another axe. I might make a stone axe, actually. There we go. Now, I should just be able to do that. Oh, now the tree's in parts now. There we go. This is the wood that I want to build my house in. Maybe I can do the floors in the darker wood, but darker wood just no, not good. Might build here. I'll walk into the jungle a bit and see what else I can find. <coughs> Oop! I believe that's a plum tree. Yep, 
Yes, it's a plum tree. Now, I don't know exactly how to grow these trees. I assume you get plum tree seeds from somewhere. Apparently not from that tree. Right here is some stone that I can dig up to get some stone tools going. And I believe I am going to assume that's salt. Where'd it go? No, that's tin. You can dig up tin with a wooden pickaxe. How interesting. That's tin from uh, Pam's mod. Unfortunately, you can't macerate it, so... But what you can do is you can cook it up, macerate the cooked ingot, and then cook up the tin dust if you really desperately uh, want all of the same ingots, which I will do because I'm like that. Now it's starting to get dark. There's a nice little cubby hole down there. It seems like a good area to build in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head up here, I reckon. A couple of beehives. Maybe down here will be a good spot. Yeah, this looks good. Let's cut down these trees. There we go, and that one. That should be good. Maybe this one. Ah. Broke my axe. Grab that. Blueberries. More blueberries. More cotton. Another mushroom. Oop, creeper. Yeah, I really need to get my bed down. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna make my bed. I've gotta get rid of some of this stuff in my inventory. As you can see, the portable crafting table takes up nine slots in your inventory. Ah, that was fail. There we go, got my bed. I'm just going to place it in here and sleep in it. There we go. There we go. Lovely morning, let's pick up this bed. And then let's start building a house. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this chest to the side and dump some crap in it. Because I don't need all of this crap on me at this particular moment in time. We'll keep them on me. There we go. It's mainly the wood I need. No, the spruce wood is not the stuff I want. Oak wood. Oak, oak, oak. There we go. 56 should get us a good foundation. So let's start... 3, 4, 5, 6... Ah. I have no axe. What's that? That's 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 10, 11. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I'll have to extend that beach out. So don't like. Oh, actually, I might make a curved corner. So what I might do is make some sticks. And do that. There you go. What I might do is. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Actually, 8, and then I'll go like that. Actually, I might go one more. There we go. It's as close to a rounded corner as you can really get in Minecraft, I suppose. There we go. Gives us a good couple blocks outside the front of our house. And get rid of that as well. And that. There we go. 
And chop down that tree. There we go. And then I'm going to build this up. So I'll come back once I've built my house up. Alright, so I've finished my house almost. I just need to grab a whole bunch of glass. <coughs> I don't want to grab it from there. I'm going to head over here and grab as much glass as I can. It's basically going to have glass surrounding the outside and glass on the roof. Then that should look pretty good. Uh, grab that. I might also grab these avocados. I wonder if I do that if it'll drop the avocados. Nice, it does. And I got a whole bunch more wood, which I don't really need. I have so much wood, I don't know what to do with half of it. There's a few good mines around here as well, which is also really good. Ah, look at that. Tons of sand. I'm also going to need to get some more cobble so that I can actually make a furnace. Let's just dig this all up. Nope. Dug a little bit too low. There we go. How much is that? 64. There's a stack. Perfect. I'm going to eat. Take a oop, take a drink. Mm -mm. And then let's head back. No, I needed cobblestone, which I don't have any room for. I'm gonna put some stuff in my chests. Then looks like it's getting night again, so I'll have a sleep. Let's grab all this stuff, let's extend this chest. basically move this all over then I can figure out what I do and don't need alright so I'm going to need more cobble but like I said first I think I'll go to sleep uh, where's a good spot for the bed I think uh, there will be good for just now. So I'll sleep and then I will go ahead and make stone tools first actually. That would probably be a good idea. So let's make the stone pickaxe. Whoops. Not what I wanted to do. Oh well, we've got two stone axes now. So let's go get some cobblestone. Da -de -da. Here it is. Oh, not really much of a mine. Just a short hole. Which I'm assuming there's water here, considering there's clay. Oop. Now that, I don't know what it is. Copper. That is copper, as well. I assume the other coppers from Pam's mods, although I'm not sure to be honest. I mean, the amount of ores that are in this is just tremendous. It's, it's insane. And there's some more copper, I believe. Now that I think, that I think is Pam's mods. That I th pretty sure is IC2, and that I think. Is Buildcraft? I think Buildcraft has copper. I always thought it was red power, but considering there's no red power, I'm not sure. If this is copper, I'm going to go nuts. Yeah, that is copper. Four different types of copper spawned in one area. <coughs> oh dear. How fun. Alright. 
Alright, so let's do that then. Perfect. Let's grab this clay. You never know when you're gonna need clay or gravel. You're gonna need it for a macerator eventually. This horrible looking gravel. It's not the texture pack's fault, it's Minecraft's fault. For changing the texture of gravel to be yucky. But when 1.4 comes out very soon, it's going to be interesting to adjust to all the changes they made to the sound engine. I mean, I listened to the changes to the sounds and not sure if I like it, but I suppose just like a lot of other Minecraft updates, you get used to it whether you like it or not, because you're going to keep playing regardless. Sorry if I'm babbling on here. There we go. Alright, that should be enough. Now I can climb back to the top. Hopefully there's no creepers waiting for me. Doesn't look so, and I'll grab that. Uh, blueberries, yum. Now, let's head back here. What was that? Bean seeds. What sort of beans? Nobody knows. Alright, so... Let's get that sword going that I didn't get a chance to make. And then let's pop... Actually, what I want to do is make... Two more chests. And just like I did in my SMP world, I'm going to use this to hold all my ores. Considering there's a ton of ores. And what I'm also going to do is make two more chests. Oops, I just made kitchen sides. Oh, nice. It's kind of like what you, you use trap doors for, like counters and things like that. That's a good recipe, actually. I like that. I'm sure I'll actually use them at one point. Um... Yeah, running out of room. I'm going to need to make copper chests eventually, so what I'm going to do is take that away. Pop the two chests there. They're going to be my, I suppose you'd say organics uh, chest. All my seeds, my fruit, my food, things like that. Let's pop this crap away. And grab all of that stuff. Saplings, raspberries, cotton, plum. Yeah, I think that's about it. Yeah, cool. And then let's pop where did the crafting table go? Might pop the crafting table there. Actually, no, I don't like it there. Actually, no, I do. Pull those away. And make a furnace. There we go. Pop that down, let's say here. And then going to use that to burn up my spruce wood saplings. Uh, let's put uh, some of those in. Just for now. Considering I have tons of wood. So yeah, we got one, two, three, four different types of copper and one different type of tin. Yeah, not sure what they all are for, but... Well, I know what they're for, but I don't know what they're from, I should say. So let's eat that apple. And then let's come over here. I might get another furnace going. And start cooking up these sand. Grab those charcoal. And I will come back once that's started cooking for a while. Alright. Alright, that's been going for a while. Uh, what I did basically as well is put a layer of spruce planks around the edge of my house and filled in the, the center with regular. Oh, I didn't think of that. Glass can't go on the sides. What I might have to do is... Mm, 
Oh, yeah, I didn't think of that. I might just have to do that. It's not going to be what I want, probably. But won't know it until it's finished. No, it looks alright. Oh, too short. Yeah, that looks alright. That'll do. Basically have to use another six pieces of glass now in order to get those last two panes. Which is a pain in the arse. <laughs> See what I did there? Anyway. So let's put these glass planks up the top. Not glass planks, glass. And it's running out of charcoal. So let's put some more into there. That's steadily going away. It's going to take a bit. Uh, I might sleep during the night. And there we go. Alright. Come on. It's a slow but steady process. What I might do is half that. Put the other half in there. It's got enough coal for now. I can put it back once I'm done. Put those wood planks back. There's glass panes. And those spruce spruce wood? No, that needs to go into here. No. Ah, it's not being used anymore. Um Yeah, so not really much else I can do at the moment. Uh, I can make a tree tap and go find that rubber tree. Two, three, four, five. So let's grab two tree taps. There we go. Two tree taps from IC2. And let's go tap some trees. <coughs> now I can't remember what that last one was. Now you can usually tell what trees are trees that have rubber in them, rubber trees, because they have a couple things on the top of the tree, but I don't know if it's that easy to see them in this texture pack or not. Aha, uh -huh, this looks like a trap tree. Uh, yep, I thought it was. So let's cover that up. End up there, probably. <laughs> that probably wasn't a good idea. I didn't think it would be that trapped. There we go. Pretty sure this is the same as, hey, Yorkie's base tree. Oops, someone's on fire. That's not good. Ah, are you kidding? I went through the wrong way. Oh my god, look at that lava. I don't think fire spread is... Oh crap on a stick. What have you done, Ryan? What have you done? Oh good, that didn't bring the whole tree down. No, go away, fire. Can't believe I went through this house the completely wrong way. Now I'm out of cobble. Oh, screw it. Bring the whole tree down. Oh no, that doesn't work, apparently. Oh well. There goes that. <laughs> oh my gosh. You're an idiot, Ryan. You really are. I didn't seriously know that there was a front to this. I thought that was the front. It didn't click that it was the back. As long as the fire doesn't spread to... Ah, crap. Eat apples. As long as the fire doesn't spread infinitely. I don't think it does. Yeah, the chest is still intact, so yeah, that's one good point. Oh dear. 
<coughs> Alright, let's cover up the last of this lava then. There we go, that's the last of it. Although the problem now is that the lava might come out of there. No, I think it's fully encased in... Uh, whoop, missed some. I think it's fully encased in glass, so it should be fine. Let's get rid of that, considering we don't friggin' need it anymore. Yeah, got some wheat, some string, and some iron, so... Yeah. Probably worth it. <laughs> now, I forgot what I was doing. Rubber trees, that's it. That's a rubber tree. You can tell by how dark it is. I think that's the one I was looking at. Now, I'm not sure if tree capitator works on... mod trees. No, it doesn't. I'm going to chop down anyway. Need to get some saplings. There we go. And let's see if we can get some saplings. Yeah, there's one. Looks like that's about it. Although I think I just picked up another one. Yeah, I've got two so far. Two's pretty good. Yeah, two will do. Two will do me for now. So yeah, what I might actually do is come in here and destroy that lava. because I don't want this lava hanging around. There we go. The lava's gone. Alright, so let's head back home. I have forgotten where home is. I should have marked it on my map. Oh, there's some more rubber trees, actually. There's home. Grab those rubber trees while I'm here. May as well. Come on. There we go. And grab these spots. Oh, there's one. That's all on that one. I might leave them there just in case uh, my trees don't grow any spots. That way I've at least got somewhere to go where I can get some rubber. So hopefully we'll be able to start getting some industrial craft machines very soon. Chop down this tree since it had no rubber spots. Now kill that butterfly. Now if you want to catch those butterflies, you need to make a butterfly net. Which is a string and two sticks. Then you get the butterflies, you can put them on paintings or in jars. I think that's all you can do with them. They're just kind of a little aesthetic thing. I actually really like them. It would be good to see an actual forestry to have, you know, bees actually buzzing around. Hives and just everywhere. Not like they are now, like they do now when they're in apiaries, but, you know, like actual bees flying around like those uh, butterflies do. It would be good to see, but... Eh, I won't die if it doesn't happen. Alright, this is nowhere near enough glass. I have a feeling I'm going to need more glass. Just don't misclick. Yep. Oh no, there's some more in there. That's all good then. That should be plenty. Ah, I misclicked. Are you kidding? Ah. That one piece of glass I misclicked was the one piece I needed. Oh well, let's just quickly cook this up. I'm not going to waste that charcoal, I'm just going to cook up a piece of rubber wood. Didn't mean to click rubber wood, but... Oh well, that's what I clicked. Let's pop this junk away. Sticky resin goes in there. Rubber tree saplings. 
uh, wheat, string, iron, crap, 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 crappity crap, crap. And put that glass into place. There we go, the house is done. Pretty nice and spick and specky. Looks good. Um, probably going to call this the end of the episode, guys. It's probably a little bit shorter than I normally like to do of about 40 minutes, but... Yeah, basically next episode I'm going to uh, probably add a few custom mods to this pack because these stick out like a sore thumb and I hate it. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Um, so yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much it. Next episode I'm going to try and get some IC2 machines and get started with that and hopefully go mining and look at the under underworld of this world the depths of this world. See what sort of PAMs and mods ores there are and what sort of crazy contraptions we can come up with. So thanks for watching guys and I will see you all next time. Bye.